Good afternoon, it's Quinton here from Quinton Franks Racing, providing a few sporting tips for the weekend that lies ahead. Um, we kick off on Friday night at Pride Park, uh, where Derby County take on Stoke City. And it's Stoke City I want on side here. Uh, Michael O'Neill's taken charge, as I've mentioned previously, and they've just been a different different side. If the, if the season started again, I'd expect them to be borderline playoffs with him in charge. Um, that's something they can build on next season. Uh, they'll finish mid-table, a few more face, fresh faces in, and uh, I reckon they'll be a playoff side next season. Um, Derby, on the other hand, they're struggling. They're really struggling. Their form's been propped up by their home form. Their away form's dire, but I expect um, their away performances just to start to leak into their home performances. The underlying numbers aren't that great. And I'm surprised they're as short as they are. Um, despite being favourites away from home, Stoke, they're 7 to 4, 13 to 8. They rate a solid bet at the prices, and they're my bet for Friday night. On to Saturday, and we got the early kickoff on the championship. Um, I mentioned yesterday on Twitter um, that I'm, I'm having Brentford as a bet, as I usually do. I still don't think they've been fully factored into the market how good they are. They're the second or third best side in the league. Um, and with the speculation surrounding whole strikers, um, Jared Bowen may be leaving on deadline day. And um, Grosicki has just gone to West Brom. Um, that, it's, not, it's not good for sides, that whole... They seem to have settled where they are this season. They've settled a the thread there. They're getting out some players and in in the hope that they don't get relegated. Um, Brentford, they, they lost in the middle of the week to Nottingham Forest. But what's interesting is every time they've they've had a loss this season, they've bounced back with a with a win. Uh, not just a win, but a dominant performance. And I, I fully expect the same um, tomorrow. They're, t what, 21 to 20, even money. And, and that's more than fair. Um, their quality outfit, as I've said, and I expect them to, to bounce back here under, under Thomas Frank. On to our bet in the Bundesliga on Saturday. And I am opposing Fortuna Dusseldorf. Um, they're bottom of the league. They're not a Bundesliga quality side. Um, they've just gone new manager in. He's had two days with the team. But I don't expect the new manager bounce to matter here at all. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I train a Frankfurt. I train Frankfurt even. Um, they, they've had two wins on the bounce since coming back from the winter break. Um, they beat RB Leipzig at home. That's no mean feat. Um, it just seemed to be like Europa League games grinding them down towards the end of 2019. They've had a break. They've freshened up. And um, I, I expect them to win here. I'm surprised they're not more 4-5. to five. Even, even though they're away from home, um, they, they put up solid numbers and they deserve to be in there where they are in the league. Uh, ninth place. I, I expect them probably finished. 7th, 8th, ninth in that region. Um, I want them on side. Um, they're 2.05 and that's the bed in the Bundesliga. On to Sunday and it's Super Bowl Sunday of course. Um, I've had a lot of prop bets so I'm going to keep it simple here and go with two anytime touchdown scorers and two first times at first First touchdown scorers. Um, the anytime touchdown scorers, they're towards the head of the market. My field those should be shorter than one to two. Um, we've got Raheem Mosert, who's eight to 11, four to six. And we've got Damian Williams, who's four to five, eight to 11. Um, Raheem Mosert for San Francisco 49ers. I can see him getting a fair amount of the workload. Um, Tevin Coleman, he's injured. He'll likely play. He won't have the full workload. And... In the, in the red zone, I can't see them trusting the, the fumble machine that is Matt Breeder with a ball. Um, Damian Williams is rock solid, and as, as I made the case for there, I can just see them having the ball, Kansas this is, um, and just running, 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 running um, when they're in the red zone. Um, they're the two bets. I've also backed Raheem Mosa, 7-1 first touchdown scorer, and Damian Williams, 13-2 first touchdown scorer. Um, Hopefully that, that's uh, a nice few winners for us for the week. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to get some more content out there, some racing-related content in regards to Cheltenham. I um, hope you have a good weekend and happy punting.